Thanks for joining me. A man in Northern California came across a large wolf spider in his apartment. If you don't like spiders, wolf spiders can be pretty intimidating. So he did what any reasonable person would not do. And he went after the spider with a blowtorch. The spider, now on fire, didn't much appreciate this, so it scurried away to a mattress which caught on fire and the fire spread and did thousands of dollars worth of damage and the building was evacuated. So what's the lesson in this? The lesson is think. Think before you do something breathtakingly unwise. Now today you're going to have the opportunity to surrender your life to God's guidance and direction. You don't have to do that, but think about what the choice represents. We live in a sinful world, a challenged and challenging world. We face problems we cannot fix, but God can. So the choice is, do we look to God to guide and lead our lives, or do we choose to go it alone? In Psalm 32, verse 8, God makes you a promise. He says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. God will guide you, lead you, teach you. Or, of course, you could captain your own ship. But what would make the most sense? What would be the best definition of wisdom? I'm letting the God who framed the universe lead my life, or I'm going it alone and I'm rejecting the wisdom, grace, power, and presence of God. It's not a difficult choice, really, is it? A man saw a spider and thought the best thing he could do was go after it in his home with a flame. You think that's silly? You think that's silly? Compared to leaving God out of your life, it's the height of intelligence. Make a good decision. Bring God into your life more and more. I'm John Bradshaw for It Is Written. Let's live today by every word.